pass people and eliminate them by dribbling the midfield. I think that's a big thing now in midfield playing in Europe. With the surfaces you've got, you can go and eliminate players. They have got good players playing tonight, that's for sure. That is, and if you concentrate on one side with Bale, then Lennon, who can destroy teams you've got on the other side. If you overload against Bale, then Lennon will get it. You need to be a right good side, defensively, fit to be able to stop these players playing. Most teams have a plan for a standout individual, and often that works. Doesn't seem to be possible to stop Gareth Bale at the moment. No, I mean, I think um, a few weeks ago Manchester United here did a, as good a job as I've seen playing Phil Jones in, in midfield, trying to force Bale inside whenever they could because they, they know how um, effective he is running outside people. And so what Tottenham have done the last couple of weeks is allowed him a bit more freedom to go and play through the middle a bit more, slightly enforced on them because they've lost Defoe. Um, so that's the question for him now. If teams are going to stop you playing down that left side, what are you going to do? How are you going to learn and, and find different ways to get into the game? It seems to be coping pretty I well. Think, I, think that. That, I think they had, <laughs> had Welbeck even on that side as well. With his energy to get across there and say, right, we've got to block off this side. If he comes out, he's going anywhere, and, and they just trusted Everett to get on with, with dealing with the wee man on the other side. But as, as, now if, if Tottenham see that problem, they've got to say to them, listen, disappear somewhere else. You might have to change and go to the rifles. You know, if they do swap over, then play in the middle for a bit. And, but they, he has got the ability to go and play anywhere. Yeah. Now let's have a look at uh, the opposition tonight. Remy Gard has, uh, has picked this team. There's a couple of names I'm sure those at home will recognise, not least in Spurs fans, Steve Malbronk, but Lissandro Gomez is an attacking threat there, Gareth. Definitely. I mean, Gomez is a... Uh... Big, powerful striker. A lot of teams looked at him, especially when he was at San Etienne, and they had a look and weren't sure. And then Leon went with a big, you know, as they do, they went with, with a big transfer fee. Um, he's clearly very popular with his teammates, isn't he? There. <laughs> I, I, I've seen the huddle before. This is more of a loving huddle. Yeah. It? It's went on for a while. Though. Yeah, I know they're French, but this is it's, very affectionate. Tremendous. But he is a uh, he's a little bit of an on his day type, which is never a great phrase for a player, but. He's powerful, he can destroy teams if he's in his game. And Lisandro, as you say, clever. He was behind Pekinon. You remember the Pequignon, West Ham yeah. and Portsmouth? He was behind him uh, at San Etienne. And then when, when Pekinon, he, he got in every now and then, when Pekinon moved on, he came in and, 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 and took up the position of the lone striker. And since then, he's flourished. He's grown, which is worrying by itself. We'll hear from Spurs new signing, Lewis Holtby, next, who's kind of German, but also English, he's certainly a decent player and clear about his identity. I always got the stick in there when, when uh, England played or Germany played and uh, yeah, England lost.